Hey everybody, it's Judson with JB Toy Store. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't checked us out yet, please do so, jbtoystore.com. And remember to please like and subscribe and leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think. Uh, today I'm actually going to unbox General Hawk from the G.I. Joe Classified line number 103. Uh, I had Hawk growing up and uh, loved the figure, so I want to open him up. Mine is long gone, so... Uh, one of these days, maybe I'll pick up another one just to, to replace it. But um, but the artwork on this one was really interesting to me, simply because uh, we know that some probably somewhere down the line, you know, Sergeant Slaughter's Triple T tank uh, is pictured here, so it's coming down the pike. Uh, but also over here, and I know people probably mentioned this as well, but the Cobra Stun is there. So can we possibly expect maybe a HasLab uh, Cobra Stun or just another vehicle like the Vamp with a Stun Driver that we can get at a reasonable price for like maybe $99? Wink, wink, Hasbro. So let's open up Hawk and uh, check him out. Okay, let's take a look, closer look at the box on General Hawk here. Of course, we've got some good you know, toilet photography as, uh, as always. Uh, of course, we know that somewhere down the line, like I mentioned before, we should have the Triple T Tank, Sergeant Slaughter, uh, Tag Team Terminator is what that stands for, honestly. And of course, we've got, we see over here the Cobra Stun. Uh, so hopefully we'll be getting that vehicle along with the Stun Driver. Uh, but uh, of course, here we see his accessories that he comes with, some good artwork. Again, number 103 in the classified line. QR code, all that same mess. And on the back, we see just some more details of what he comes with of the figure. And of course, uh, full artwork on the side. So let's go ahead and get him out of here. General Clayton Hawk Abernathy. All right. First glance, I'm impressed. This is really, really cool figure. Let me get him off of this cardboard real quick. There we go. Get that out of the way. Now this is really cool detail. Um, just looking at the jacket itself uh, is absolutely awesome um the paint the copper paint for the uh, the uh, the metals the and what have you is beautiful if you can see that his name is actually on there and it's actually legible uh, on his jacket and of course we've got his little um uh, little not fur but um you know little fluffy collar there uh they've actually put some gray into his hair um i'm okay with that I mean, it's not what the original Hawk had, but that's all right. And, of course, on his right um, arm here, we can see that he's got a Yojo uh, little logo patch there. And, of course, the American flag on the other. Um, great uh, camo. Um, doesn't really work with the knee knee joints here. Um, it almost looks like they, I guess, were going for pads because they didn't put camo on those so that just kind of makes it you know inconsistent i guess I, but that's you know just me and but as far as um articulation we've got butterfly joints that is a little loose in there if you can see how that's jumping that doesn't really hmm, let's see what the other side looks like uh, that's a little tighter uh interesting but we, we've got the typical bicep, and uh, this is a little tight. Uh, we've got some uh, double elbow joints, good wrist action as well. Uh, thigh swivel, typical, uh, should be double knee joints, we hope. Yep, and of course we've got shin swivel and good ankle action there. Well, actually a little, a little forward really, maybe not much on side to side um, but let's take a look at some of the accessories that he comes with uh, let's get those out of the box here got the old foot locker and we'll just get all that off to the side 
There we go. So, of course, we've got his, looks like a little shotgun here. Uh, not much detail on this. Um, just a simple um, molded piece of plastic. Um, we've got his helmet. Uh, nice star painted on the uh, on the front of it there. Uh, some good you know, little straps there on the helmet. Um, again, like Mutt and Junkyard um, uh, with Mutt, we've got two sets of goggles. One that he can wear and one that actually goes on the helmet. And, of course, we've got this, uh, this pistol here. Uh, a little bit of detail um, on the handle. If you can actually see it, I'll get it right in the right light. Maybe you can see there's a star on the, on the grip. Uh, that's pretty neat. And then, of course, we've got a, uh, I guess, a regular pistol with an extended magazine. Um, and that one looks a little, a little bit. Well, let's see if we can straighten that out. And then, of course, we've got the uh, other gun here, rifle, uh, with the strap. Not a lot of detail on this one either. Um, but, actually, it does have a little, little porthole here, I guess, where we could actually put some blast effects and yeah it's the same way on the shotgun and the pistols so yeah so we can actually put blast effects with these so that's okay that's very nice so let's see so this shoulder holster here uh, should accommodate this pistol there and then of course the larger one on the hip would be the larger pistol and let's go ahead and put the uh, goggles on the helmet. See if we can't get that somewhat centered. These are, this is a little, a little difficult to do, but oh, not too bad. And we'll get that on him. And there we have General Hawk. Yo, Joe. <laughs> and this is actually probably the way I'll display them. Um, I may see if I can't get this, these goggles up above. Maybe it'll work for me right here, right now, so that we can actually see that star uh, right in between underneath. There we go. Very cool. Let's go ahead and get him on the turntable and see what kind of poses we can get him into. <laughs> 